Folks, Earthmaster here, jumping in on the live stream. It is Monday, October 12th, 2020, 8 11 p.m. West Coast time here, and take a look at the Earthquake 3D globe. Has the latest earthquake over here on this side of the globe, a 4.4 striking out there in the uh, uh, Tajikistan border region, Afghanistan area, out there in the uh, Middle East. A uh, little bit of activity out there, kind of deep as well, 117 kilometers there below the surface. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the globe here shows quite a bit of activity over here towards South America the Peru and Chile region pretty good sized cluster of quakes no major quake or no major release yet uh, but when we see swarms of moderate activity like this at uh, at some deep levels it's possible uh, we could be talking about uh, potential larger movement here pretty soon and same goes for this area over here uh, over around the What's this area? Guatemala region. Pretty good flurry of quakes. Uh, we can take a look here on the other map and we can get a better detail of the activity that's taking place here near Guatemala. Uh, just offshore a little bit around the middle American trench area. Uh, just like Chile, a pretty good swarm of activity there. Looks like it may have started off with a 5.5 or so, uh, at least today within the last 24 hours. Since then, there's been quite a few uh, uh, moderate magnitude quakes there including another 5.1 and many many fours in the area as well uh, just like Chile or the uh, Peru region a uh, good possibility we could see some uh, release there as well just uh, kind of got me worried there all these uh, little swarms of, of uh, earthquakes there no major quake in the region so definitely an area to watch west coast area pretty quiet aside from the tremor that's going on up there still up there in the Pacific Northwest uh, take a look at the two point or actually this is the all magnitudes all earthquakes here from the USGS for the last 24 hours and you can see um, pretty much about the same as what we've seen last night a little bit more uptick in activity over here towards the Salton Sea region but uh, no swarming yet uh, just kind of a few small microquakes there same for the Ridgecrest area and also the, uh, well, we did have a little activity out there in the Gar Garlock Fault Zone there, uh, but not a whole lot, just some microquakes in and around that area, especially around the Ridgecrest region. Uh, same for up here in Nevada. Uh, let's see what else we got. Idaho, about the same as last night, not a whole lot of activity there. Uh, as far as the trimmer map goes, it's no, uh, well, it really hasn't changed. This is just today's October 12th trimmer. Uh, about 499 earthquakes there. Day 6 or day 7 I believe of this major trimmer. This this can go on for a little while. Uh, and it, as I said last night, I think we should be on uh, just a little bit of a, of a watch if, if we see this trimmer continue there as far as like any type of surface quakes going on along the Cascadia subduction zone uh, I've always said that it's potentially uh, the possibilities are higher when we see this type of swarming going on every 14 months or so uh, I found a little article there on the uh, what is this K5 NBC site uh, as long as you don't spam me with a whole bunch of uh, unnecessary pop-ups uh, this article was published well today early this morning October 12th there uh, they talk about uh, tiny earthquakes thousands of them um, the headline reads Washington scientists study silent quakes to possibly track bigger earthquakes well obviously that's a major area uh, once again the tremor is taking place they're not like normal earthquakes but the tremor is taking place there about 40 to 60 miles below the surface way down there so uh, not only you know you're not going to feel them specifically for that reason but also because uh, they're not like a sudden jolt of earthquake uh, energy it's basically slow slipping of the uh, plates down there uh, these have been called silent earthquakes which have a deep tremor and slow slip collectively they move enough to slightly change the surface of the earth near them uh, the tiny epicenters pop as the as that plate slides they will last for weeks until the event is over so they claim uh, the silent quakes release the equivalent energy of a magnitude six earthquake, which is in the range of the uh, 
what is that, the Squally earthquake that occurred nearly 20 years ago on the last day of February. Uh, that was a 6.8. So yeah, definitely a tremor making the news out there. They do talk about the uh, Cascadia subduction zone there. Uh, the last time it happened under Washington and much of the West Coast was back in 1700. A lot of time has passed and a lot of buildup of pressure has uh, endured in that region. The subduction zone runs from Cape Mendocino in Northern California, past Oregon, Washington, and off the Vancouver Island uh, area. Uh, well, let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. One theory is that it could add to the pulling force on the locked plate above it, one day triggering a massive quake. That's kind of what I was just talking about, how, uh, you know, with this trimmer, we could well, mess, in the, mess around and wake up the monster there. Uh, that's been sleeping since 1700. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and they just go on and on, talk about, you know, the same thing that they, they always do there. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of trimmer going on still, folks. We're going to watch this, see how, many, uh, see how many it gets to or up to every day. Every 14 months or so. Uh, like I say, this is about day six or seven. Somewhere around there of continuous trimmer and not just not just a little bit a lot <laughs> uh what else we got here yellowstone national park here let me uh refresh that real quick pretty uh quiet looks like potentially some uh kind of looks like wind events there i've seen some dark looking clouds up there in the uh, uh the old faithful yellowstone webcam earlier so i'm thinking that's some type of wind events there showing up not specifically earthquakes at all uh but definitely look like looks like it did show up on quite a few stations there at least on the northeast side of the park uh what else we got there as far as other earthquake activity goes around the globe let me check this out real quick here western pacific over here pretty quiet the majority of the uh movement for what uh for right now is over here once again around the Guatemala region and also up here around Peru and Chile area. Like I say, I think that, what was that, 5.5 or so being, no, that, that was up here. This is about the biggest one here down in South America, 5.0. But it, it's looking likely that we'll see a little bit bigger release somewhere around here uh, with that type of energy popping off uh, one right after another right there uh, over, over 24 hours. So it's kind of, uh, something's brewing. What do we got here? That that's at uh, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, 4.4 of there. Also around the uh, Mediterranean Sea region, there some some quakes as well. 5.2 and a 4.1 there in the Sea of Crete. Uh, what else? That's about it, folks. Not a whole lot going on in the earthquake department. Stream went down earlier. Surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> Ah, it always seems to happen for the most part when I'm away from my computer. So maybe somebody's got a hidden camera. See, uh, maybe they're activating my camera on my computer and they can tell when I'm away from there and they just pull the plug. Who knows? You just never know. Some secret government organization or it could be YouTube. Uh, as far as earthquake history goes, let's check that real quick. Of course, that's going to be on the 13th. Let's go ahead and zoom that. Uh, ooh, what, what do we got going on here? What do we got going on? A little freeze up there of the USGS. Okay, that was pretty strange there. Okay. October 12th. That's today. But back in 1992, a 5.8 struck the Egypt region. Quite a few uh, unfortunate uh, fatalities and whatnot. Quite a few injuries as well. Um, that's just from a five. Well, 5.8. Yeah, 5.8 right there. Pretty good sized earthquake there within that region. Uh, so yeah, something's going on with the uh, USGS page. Pretty slow. That uh, 5.8 that struck back in 1992 was 21 kilometers below the surface. So fairly shallow which definitely uh, uh, definitely will create some issues there at the surface 
Anyway, folks, uh, have a good night. I am jumping off here, signing off early. Hopefully the stream stays up and running. If not, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to fire it back up. Have a good night, everyone. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.